Morning. Uh, firstly, I want to congratulate this year's school leavers, parents and educators for turning out a great bunch of young adults this year. Thanks to police, emergency services, the Green team and the Victor Harbour community uh, for this event. But special thanks to the Year 12s. Uh, you've uh, certainly reflected well on your group as a whole and uh, most people that attended this event made some really, really good choices and made it an absolutely uh, excellent success and it really did reflect well on this year's group. Uh, police only uh, arrested one school leaver this year, which is fantastic. There was one report and a, some expiation notices for drinking and dry zone and five expiation notices for various traffic offences. So in the main, an absolutely excellent event and police are very, very pleased uh, with this year's attendees. Is there any questions? Ah, uh, yes. Is there any truth to the rumours about a boy being injured falling off of a roof? Don't have any information on that at all. Not something that we've been involved in or been advised of. And how does this compare to previous school leaves? Would you say this has been a better one of in the past uh, well, last year's event was very different. Uh, we were ap operating in the COVID environment. Uh, our young people that were involved last year, there were reduced numbers for start to start with. There were some restrictions in how they could interact. They had to dance in uh, pods, so they were sort of separated. We had various COVID restrictions. So this was a much bigger event this year uh, with many more attendees. It was completely open and we'd gone back to years past where uh, our school leavers were able to party as they normally would. So to see only one arrest, whilst it's disappointing that that had to happen at all, um, it is uh, much improved on previous years and on last year. And what was the arrest in relation to? The arrest was for a property damage and disorderly behaviour actually at one of the hotels and not within the venue itself. You've just spoken about how returning post-COVID, I guess, were there concerns that because you were going back to a more full-scale event that it could have been, I guess, a lot worse? I don't know that we held concerns. We had hope that they, um, our school leavers would behave well, and they absolutely did. Obviously, dealing with many more attendees this year and not having those restrictions uh, meant that there was more interaction amongst the groups, but it was very much a party atmosphere. Everyone enjoyed themselves and made excellent choices. Sorry. Do you know what the numbers were in terms of attendees? I know the planned numbers were 5,000 over the course of the weekend. On the Friday night, we had about 3,000 at the event itself uh, within Wallen Reserve, and I'm not sure about the other nights, but about 5,000 in total over the course of the whole weekend. You guys were out in force over the weekend as well. Do you think that played a big part as well in keeping everyone in an orderly fashion? Oh, absolutely. We had additional resources in Victor Harbour, but that's not unusual for a, an event of this size, for any uh, major event, uh, school leavers or, or not. For, to have that many people in a small community, we have to commit additional resources to it. How many additional you know, officers were there? Uh, we had uh, many, many additional resources from all over SAPOL, um, approximately 50 over the course of the whole weekend, so that's various shifts, etc. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much.